Legged locomotion is a fascinating area of research and a joy to watch. The number of YouTube hits for robots from Boston Dynamics is a testament to its immense popularity. Although not in the same league, but let's build something that walks. To build a robot, one needs to define an objective first. From a design perspective, there are three main aspects to think about. The kinematics, dynamics, and control. With this project, my objective was to get familiar with the first aspect through a legged robot, leaving the dynamics and control for the future projects. The current prototype focuses primarily on the legs and not the whole body. I started off by reading a paper from Disney Research where Jim and his team proposed a hybrid leg for a bipedal robot. The design combines both serial and parallel mechanisms to achieve six degrees of freedom. The unique approach allows the leg to achieve small inertia and large workspace while retaining the anthropomorphic structure of a human leg. Each leg consists of two serial chains connected together at the ankle. Each kinematic chain uses a five bar linkage for generating the pitch motions at the hip and knees and a roll joint at the hip. Together, this arrangement is able to achieve six degrees of freedom, three in each chain through the use of six actuated joints and the remaining as passive joints. I started off by designing the hybrid leg in Fusion 360. I had to go through a couple of revisions because of the weakness in the ankle joint that would cause it to break or have excessive play during testing. I built a single leg first to iron out any mechanical or software issues. Once the leg was working as desired, I printed a mirrored version of it as the second leg. The dimensions for different links were selected to roughly match the research paper. The entire leg assembly measures about 30 centimeters in height and weighs around 1.5 kilograms. The next step was to establish the kinematics. I used the Denavit Hartenberg convention to identify the four parameters D, theta, R and alpha for each of the joints. To simplify the analysis of mechanical operation and coding of the actuation logic, the parallel linkage for a single leg was split into multiple kinematic chains. The inverse kinematics for calculating the joint angles given the position of the end effector or the feet is captured in the project blog. The expressions also act as a good reference for understanding the code. The trajectory was generated manually with independent sagittal and lateral movements. The graph shows how the position of the left and right feet are varied in the Cartesian space. The result is a static gait which is slow enough to not worry about the dynamic effects. There is no sensor for the feedback, no goals for the states, hence no need for a control algorithm. The code, however, does support the option of either pre-calculated joint angles or computing them live. The trade-off is speed versus memory consumption. Prior to testing the desired gait, unit testing was performed on each leg to ensure that the calibration was correct and that all the motors were functioning as expected. As such, a unit test framework was developed to test some simple trajectories. Limits were imposed on the joint angles based on the mechanical structure of the leg to discard the invalid inverse kinematic solutions. For actuating the 12 joints, 20 kg cm high torque full metal gear servos were used. They were controlled through a 16-channel 12-bit PWM PCA9685 servo driver. An external voltage of 5V was supplied through a wall adapter. For running the code, Arduino Mega was used to avoid the memory constraints 
I was running into with Arduino Uno and Nano. Now on to the limitations. From the control perspective, only static gate was attempted. Sensors are needed for dynamic gate. From the mechanical perspective, no dynamic analysis was done. The stall torque of the motors was sufficient to support the weight of the leg in the upright position. However, they were not powerful enough to support the weight during motion. As such, the whole structure had to be supported using strings during the motion to reduce the weight. The code is hosted on GitHub for reference. Happy walking!